What's up guys, it's Johnny. So yesterday I made a video for you guys and I touched a little bit on how to connect your phone to a TV set so that you don't use up all your data uh, trying to use your phone's Wi-Fi to share it with a smart TV. And I got some inquiries. Uh, you guys actually asked about that and said, well, if you're not doing it wirelessly, you know, what adapter do you need? How do you do it? So here we go. Uh, also, by the way, thanks for the lovely comment. Um, I appreciate that constructive uh, criticism. Said there was a lot of information in that video. So strap in. Uh, we're going to get really deep into how to connect your phone to your TV without using like uh, casting your screen or anything like that. And this works out really, really well for me. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Before we get started, let's first talk about why we would want to do that um, really quickly. So the reason you would do it through a cable is actually you get a more direct response through it than you do a smart TV, i.e. there's not any lag in the screen and what's happening on here, which doesn't matter a lot unless you're like using your phone to play a game or something like that. But uh, another reason you would want to do it is to use your phone's unlimited internet to be able to watch Netflix or Hulu or whatever on your TV without it having to go through a Wi-Fi hotspot on your device in which you only have 10 gigabytes available on your straight top phone or whoever else you have, whatever amount you have. Uh, so the best way to do it is to hook a cable up to your phone and hook it into the TV via HDMI. So you will need an adapter. This is the one I got. This one I got at Walmart. Wait before you go buy one. Let's talk about which one you need. Does your phone have a micro USB plug on the bottom or is it USB-C or is it Apple? Yeah. Um, if it is USB-C, this one will work great for you. Now, here's a picture of this one at Walmart in the box. Let's talk about why I chose this one and then I'm going to show you two others that are a little cheaper and a little less functional. So this one here actually has a USB slot so I can plug in a Bluetooth uh, wi wire, you know, a wireless mouse and keyboard and use that. Yes, your Android phone will actually let you control it with a mouse and keyboard on a screen if it's plugged into that. It's pretty cool. Um, so it also has the HDMI, HDMI out that we're going to plug into a TV set uh, in order to cast that screen through the wire. And this one has a plug so that you can actually plug it in. And I say you can, but you actually have to. You have to plug it in with your power wire. This is USB-C just like this is. It powers the phone and gives a little bit of power to this so that it can operate the USB port, send the signal over and everything like that. I like this one because it lets me use that USB, but if you have a Samsung Galaxy S8, 9, 10 or up, <clears throat> using this will allow your phone to use the Samsung Galaxy DeX system. DeX I made another video about it on my channel. If you want to look through my videos, it's called Samsung Dex. It's basically a computer inside the, your phone that when you plug it into a TV set, it casts onto your screen, but it doesn't look like your phone. It's still all your apps, but it looks like a computer layout. It's, you know, mouse, keyboard, uh, pointer, taskbar, trash, everything you would expect like a computer, but that's just in the Samsung phones. So we'll go on, move on to the next. Here's another one that you can pick up that's at Walmart. Now this one here is interesting, but it only gives you the option for just basically uh, USB-C to HDMI direct to the TV. Now, not every Android phone, some of the older ones and some of the cheaper ones don't actually allow you to split out to HDMI. So you might want to look that up on your particular model phone before you run out and buy one of these expensive cables. Mine was 39, the one I'm showing you now is 29. And they even have another version of this one by this other company. All three of these were found at Walmart. So throughout the country, you should be able to pick them up for the most part or order them online. You can do that. If you have the HDMI or the micro USB, you're probably going to have to order that from Amazon. I haven't found that one in stores in a long time because it's been a long time. Uh, everything's USB-C now or Apple. Yeah. So, um, I also found this cheap one over here. Like I said, it's just a scaled down version of the one I just showed you, but it's cheaper. It's literally just the micro, uh, you know, the USB-C to HDMI. It's a lot of, a lot of technical stuff going on. Um, but I don't like the cheaper ones. Typically, I like the heavier duty ones. The cords on these seem to last longer. This one here, this J5, which are the first two brands I showed you here, and we talked about 
it's worked well for me. I've had this one for about a year and uh, <clears throat> no issues. It always works pretty flawlessly. Long enough cord to plug into the phone without my case on my phone hitting it, which was a problem with some other models that are out there. But that's how you plug your phone in. And now if you just have a regular Android phone, like it's a, I don't know, whatever, Motorola, whoever, whoever makes Android phones other than Samsung, and you plug it into the bottom, it will still display on your screen, but without the Samsung DeX feature, you're literally just getting like a casting of your screen. So it's your Android phone screen. On the screen, you can turn your phone sideways if you're playing Netflix or Hulu or something like that, and it will show up on the screen, as well as since it's HDMI, it's actually gonna take the sound from the phone also through the HDMI cord into the TV. So then you can turn up the TV and get good quality sound while using your phone's internet and your phone's you know, connection to go to the TV without having to connect to a wire, wireless network in case there isn't one available at the house you're at. This would work with any TV with an HDMI port. So it doesn't have to be a smart TV. That's the cool thing about going through this cord is you have options to go to older TVs, newer TVs, and not use a Wi-Fi connection whatsoever. <clears throat> as well as if you don't have a Wi-Fi network at the house but you have a smart TV, Instead of creating a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone and then casting it to the smart TV, you would just go through the cord, plug your phone into the TV through the HDMI port, bingo bango, now you are streaming stuff on your phone unlimited and playing it on the TV instead of casting the... You got it. I hope this helps you guys to connect your Android phone or... I, I guess there's one for Apple too. I mean, I'm sure there's like an Apple connector to HDMI. I'm pretty positive there is. It's been a while since I had an iPhone. Like, I had the first iPhone. I hadn't had any since then, but uh, they do make one. Um, you can find it probably at an Apple store. I would imagine it's, well, they're proud of it. So um, get that wallet out. Uh, if you have Android, this is the one I recommend that you use. Make sure you get the right one, whether it's micro USB or it is USB-C. That is an important thing to note. Also, make sure that your particular phone model does support the ability to cast out the screen through the charging port. Not all Android phones do. Some of the cheaper ones definitely do not. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment if you have something constructive to say or another suggestion. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Peace.